better day for the offense today? Definitely a better day, but we still have a, uh, a lot of things to work on as far as just coming together. And, um, you know, it's like just little fine details. What's your kind of assessment of the running back position group right now? Some guys are dinged up, but it's giving opportunities for some other guys to get more reps maybe? Yes, sir. Oh, that's definitely the case. We get a lot of looks on guys that, um, you know, that might have got not as much reps. So um, as soon as our guys get back and get healthy, then we're good. Mario has talked a lot about Cyrus in particular, him making – plays and mm -hmm. it's in the mix. What have you seen from him as a veteran and what's he doing well? Uh, he's definitely making a lot of plays like Coach said. Um, he's stepping up I mean, as a guy. Um, he's more mentally tough and physically tough, of course, because he's a bigger back. Um, he's just been a guy that we need him to be. Have you seen a lot out of this out of this receiver group at all in the last couple of days? I mean, how, how, how are they looking from your perspective on that other side? They're looking good. They just got a lot of young guys in the room. So like a lot of like little mental errors and things like that. But other than that, it's a very talented group and we need them a lot. Now offensively, I mean, how do you work through, you know, those mental errors when you're out there doing uh, doing team? I mean, is that something that has to kind of be done on an individual basis or are they going to kind of stop a rep if, you know, a wide receiver you know, misses an assignment or a running back misses an assignment? Well, a missed assignment is always corrected in the meeting room. But if it's a big missed assignment, then it's corrected there on the field. But as far as you knowing your stuff, it's just you getting your playbook and knowing what you got to do. Mario seemed generally pleased with the first scrimmage, but what do you feel like needs to be cleaned up in the next couple weeks? As far as just the position group or the whole team? Whole team. Um, I would say just be more competitive as a team, on which is like um, it's kind of been that way, like the last couple of practices. Um, hustle. Yeah. Um, and about it. I know you mostly work with Justin, but what have you seen from the other two guys that are competing to, to be that number two quarterback? Greatness. Greatness. Greatness, of course. That's why they're here. Um, just like a lot of good passes made, a lot of good reads, uh, knowing their stuff and knowing their assignments. What's great about Braxton and what's great about Tyler? Oh, man. Well, Braxton's a guy who always, like, if he can't throw, then he is the I'm done on feet as far as um, plays. And, um, and Tyler, he's just a guy. Um, he has both. He can throw it and get it done in the air as well. Mm -hmm. So it's always great to do. What's it like running behind an offensive line with so many starts under their belt? Uh, it's great, actually, because they know what they're doing, and I trust them, and they trust me. So it's just a trust relationship, which you kind of need that in the backfield with your own line. And plus, I like them because they're big sexes. Did you cut your shirt yourself? I did. It's fashion. You know, you like it? <laughs> Back to the receivers quickly. Um, Daywood says he's a guy that's got speed and can kind of take the top off. Of Daywood is slow. Uh, Don't let Daywood lie to y'all. Daywood is slow. Can you beat Daywood in the race? Yes, I'll beat Daywood in the race. All day, every day. Daywood, flex, anybody can get it in the race. Does he have speed, though? Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, he's definitely a fast Florida guy, you know, because yeah. us Floridians are fast. But um, he's definitely a guy that is going to be stepped up big time this year. Has he developed enough to contribute this year? Definitely a lot. Definitely a lot from um, spring and last year.